Hi there, I am Merrill Cook, Content Marketing Manager at DipBot, and today I'm going to step you through a super quick and easy process through which you can automate gaining a little extra insight into whoever you're about to meet with online. Uh, in real life, meetings have a little more context. You're in a physical location, in a city, in a corporate office, there are visual cues, and you don't have many of these things online, and many of us are hopping into Zoom meetings with less and less notice. So. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a little helper robot of sorts that preps you for your meeting. Um, you can see the end results of this bot on the screen, but essentially um, what it's going to do is it's going to take the name, email, and potentially the org name of an individual who schedules a meeting with you, um, pass these values to DiffBot's Enhance product, which is a data, data enrichment tool, uh, and the results are sent to you in a message. So. I'm going to utilize a Zapier trigger based on a Calendly event, but it's worth noting that um, this process is basically identical if you have a trigger set up uh, around Google Calendar or whatever other app you keep your appointments in. So as you can see on the screen, I'm logged into Zapier. If you don't have an account, it's literally uh, one of those one-step signups. You sign in with your Google account details or another authorization uh, protocol. So I'm going to make a zap, um, and I will share the link to this below the video um, if you'd rather just build off of this zap. Uh, the program I want to trigger this app is Calendly um, with the event of an invitee created, so an individual creating an appointment with me. Um, if you look at the final tab, essentially what you're looking for here is the name of the next individual that you have a calendar event with. Um, in this case, it's my colleague Jerome Chu, who actually pulled together uh, DiffBot Enhance for Zapier. So pretty cool project. Um, so once you see that you have data being returned, um, what do you want to do with this? You want to pass this to uh, DiffBot Enhance. Um, you will need to log into DiffBot Enhance the first time. Same thing with Calendly. Uh, for both of them, you'll need your API token. Uh, for Calendly, that's uh, on your settings page. Uh, if you go to app.diffbot.com, you can find your API token by clicking on the top right corner of the screen. Um, and you will just need to paste that in the very first time you set up DiffBot Enhance on Zapier. And we are we want to enhance a person um, because I want the data of whoever I've scheduled my next meeting with. But we should note that more often than not, there's often more public web data about organizations than people. So if you find your person enhanced calls not returning enough information, um, be sure to augment your call using the second option of enhanced organization. But in our case, we're going to start with uh, enhance person and you can customize which person you want to enhance in this case um, i've chosen my invitee name from calendly um, and invitee email and that's often enough for many individuals to return a good deal of data from diffbot enhance you can see the results in this final tab here um, you have jerome's uh, description from a social media profile. You have LinkedIn, an angel list profile, where Jerome went to school, different skills. So, and, you know, maybe these are conversation starters. Maybe they let you just have a slightly more personal touch or let you know the lens through which this individual you're about to have a meeting with is approaching the meeting. Uh, simply put, it's easier to talk to people if you have a shared connection and, um, you can't talk about that shared connection if you don't know that connection. So that's sort of what our little bot here is meant to help us with. Um, once you see that your enhanced person call is returning data, you can click done editing, and we are going to send this data in some form uh, via Gmail and Slack. So in Gmail, we'll have to log in yet again, as with every app when you first set up a Zap, uh, and we want the event to be sending an email um you'll choose your account um and specify the to and from fields in this case they're both merrill at diffbot.com uh on the subject line i've inserted the name of the individual who's been enhanced jerome chu registered for a meeting enhanced profile inside 
And then essentially I paired up uh, strings like name, education, employer, and title with the corresponding fields that were returned from our diff bot enhance call. Um, so the first time you set this up, it will send a test email, um, which I showed on the screen earlier. Essentially, it looks like this. Uh, every time somebody uh, schedules an event in my Calendly, I get an email with some extra details about them uh, sent via Gmail. And we are essentially going to set up the exact same type of message uh, in Slack. You'll need to connect your Slack, choose the action of send a direct message, um, select your account, um, and then specify I'm going to send this to myself. You can actually just copy all of these in from the last Gmail uh, event, which is nice. You can name your bot, uh, enhance meeting attendees bot, and you can see that I get a message from Slackbot that is similar to our email. So note that when you have activated your Zap, that you will need a paid plan, which is because uh, it's three or more actions, which is about $19.99 a month. But if your team are working through a lot of meetings with external individuals, that's honestly a great deal if that extra bit of information can help you land one new client, one new deal, you know? Um, and this is our little helper robot. So if you found this useful, please like and subscribe below. Um, here at DiffBot, we post a good deal about web data extraction and automating portions of your data lifecycle. Uh, if you want to see content on a related topic, please reach out in the comments below. And we hope you enjoy your new cool robot assistant.